fiberglass over here and it should be ready. Some good stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, I still need this thing to steer somehow. Basically, a stick coming out of here going that way. All right. Something kind of like that. How do I attach it? I think I can try that out tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow morning. All right, new motor attached. Let's take it for a spin. There was one minor issue with this propeller. It's got chipping paint off it. Or tape. It's got paint chipping off it. So that'll slow things down a little bit. Oh, I can see some nice chunks coming off there. Uh, anyway, so I should probably just take all the paint off there and smooth it out a little bit little bit but whatever we're just gonna go for a test right now knowing that it's suboptimal conditions yeah. also this motor this electric motor might not be big enough to really drive that propeller that well because it's made for 15 horsepower and this is like a two horsepower electric motor um, but that will be alleviated to some degree when I have two motors back there and they're both pushing because then the boat will be going faster and blah blah blah. Looks like a reverse works pretty well. Yeah, reverse is working better with this motor than it was with the other one. definitely helps steering, which is kind of nice. Excuse the white balance on my camera. This is my backup camera, which is sort of broken a little bit. That's a nice zoom, though.
over that, which is a little slower than my uh, old motor up there. But the uh, acceleration is a lot better and the turning is a lot better. I think it's because the bigger propeller, but then the bigger propeller also has all those paint chips and junk coming off it. So hopefully if I uh, smooth out the propeller, it'll give me a bit better top speed. Either way though, it's kind of in the same range as this in terms of top speed, so that's good. Oh, I love being out in the water. I'm also really enjoying this missing floor section because I can see everything under there. And the, the boat makes so little disturbance in the water. When I'm driving, I can actually see pretty well into the water. Maybe I can put a big piece of glass here or something. Yeah, I'll just go pick one of those up. And the mangroves next door. All right, I guess I better pay attention before I crash into some mangroves. Oh, I'm gonna have to go test my anchor soon too. That's a bit of a reduction in speed from my last motor, but the the startup power force is much better, so it's much easier to steer the boat. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can get at least some of that speed and maybe even go faster if I attend to the propeller a little. You know, like uh, sharpen the edges, because right now it's like just an eighth inch flat thing pushing through the water. Um, and then also at the back of the propeller, like normally with a gas motor, the propeller has the exhaust going through it. So it has this flared big opening that's horribly not streamlined. So I'm thinking of cutting off that flared part and just putting a cone on the back of the propeller. That should give me some more efficiency too. But overall it looks like it works pretty well.